So now that we have our new person manager in place and ready, uh, I want to add it to the DLL facade, of course. So instead of using the list manager, which is this static guy, we're going to use the person manager. Notice because we made this contract, nothing has to be changed. Everything runs except we just changed instead of the list manager, we're using a real manager for actually storing the data in a database. But there's another thing that kind of annoys me and have annoyed me for a while now. And that is that the database is empty. Every time I start, the database is empty uh, and I have to start populating data and slowly I'll get more and more data in there. Uh, that's just annoying. So what we'll do also is we'll add something called an initializer. It's think of it like a way for us to every time we rerun the code, you have different choices. You can choose to just delete everything and recreate everything. Now that's kind of powerful because then we don't have to add persons again and again and again, add person status again and again. We just have some kind of default setup that we can show and work with right out of the box. And when we start changing it, every time we restart, it'll be reset. That's very powerful in my mind. And then you have other champ choices as well. So let me just give you an overview of what, how you can seed your database. That's the name of it. And I'm on tutorials teacher here again, and there's something called seed data, right? And we have some um, initializer things we can do here. Some strategies. And let me just show you, there are a few ones here. The one is create database if it doesn't exist. The name is very easy to understand. It only creates it the first time. And we'll set it, if we wanted to do that, we would say here in this initializer class, we'll say create database if not exist. Now that would mean it would only create the first time. Then it would exist and until you manually deleted it, it would be there, the data would stay there. That would be one uh, strategy to go with. Let's try one of the other ones. Drop database if model changes. So we are only going to change the database if the model actually changes. So meaning that if I change the person model, the database would be remade. I don't think that works all the time, but the idea is good. I really like that idea. So that's another strategy. If you can make that work, go for it. Then I have this one, and that's the one I always use because it's just easy to use. It'll just, every time it'll just recreate the database, drop everything in there and create it again. Very, very simple. Seed the data, pull in some data that I know what is in there every time I restart my application. I like that strategy, but it's up to you. The last one is custom DB initializer. Here you can go in and make some crazy stuff. I think this one is the one that I've made use of a lot because it works every time. And this one is the second one. And this one just, it just fails for me now and then. I don't know why. But if you want to use that one, that's also fine. You can read small details here if you did not get what I just said. So how do we see the data? So I want to pull in some data right away. I want to fill in some data right away. And here's how you do it. It's fairly simple, right? It's just, just look at this. It's just adding data like we would normally do using our managers. It's that simple. So what I'll do is I'll go into this new class I created. So I'm writing D database set initializer with a new class that I made. And the only thing you have to know about the class is it's an extension of the drop create database or whatever strategy you choose. And then here's the context that you want to work with. Now this could be put in another class if you wanted to. I just, uh, sorry, another file, but I just put it under the same uh, in the same file because you're allowed to do that. So that's just a choice. And let's just see this in the next lesson. Right now, let's just, this was how you make the initializer and next lesson I'll show you how to seed your data for every time you restart your application. See you in the next lesson.